Jan Hochstein was a Miami hurricane through and through. He earned his Bachelor of Science degree in architecture from the Cardboard College on Anastasia in 1954 and returned to UM to teach in 1966, also earning a master's degree in the history of art and architecture in 1976. He was a devoted educator until his passing in 2011, giving 45 years of dedicated service to the University of Miami and its students. Although Jan was a devout modernist, he wasn't dogmatic about style necessarily. What was most important to him was that a good design be thoroughly detailed, comprehensive in scope, and appropriate to the context that it was designed in. Jan has always been an important part of the school and the university ever since I came to the University of Miami in the late 70s, early 80s. He was, in fact, I learned some time after arriving, that Jan was, in fact, a student here many years ago. And I have memories of a picture of Jan uh, with a class of about a dozen students only. Um, so in many ways, he was foundational to the school that we know today. I first met Jan when I was 19 years old in my second semester of architecture school in the spring semester. Uh, my first impression of him uh, was that he was uh, tough. It's what uh, he was known for at school. Uh, my second impression, honestly, was that I thought I would have a hard time relating. I thought all of us would have a hard time relating to him because of his reputation, and he was uh, uh, quite a bit older than us. Uh, but um, right away into the semester, we realized that, that his reputation was more regarding the academic a rigor that he demanded of his students and not really the way that he related to people on a personal level. There's physical evidence of his legacy here at the school. Uh, number one, in the Marion Manley buildings that we use and love. Um, he was involved in their restoration and renovation when we first moved in to the school um, in 1983. In 2010, Jan and other UMSOA faculty took eight architecture students to Coya, Peru to assist a nonprofit medical clinic in designing a much needed renovation and expansion. Sandy Del Prado is the founder of that clinic. I was super moved and impressed by several of them told me that the experience was a life-changing experience, that they no longer just thought of architecture as designing buildings, but were also now incorporating the needs of the people they were designing them for. They really felt what they experienced in Peru, and I think that Jan had a lot of vision to be able to mix the skills of these young students and bring them and let them accomplish something that really was meaningful and helpful and will have long-lasting results. I did have a, um, a relationship uh, with him from the very beginning. He was a huge influence on my career. Um, he, came, uh, he came to us in the midst of a, of a stylistic uh, deba debate and he said to the studio, I don't care what kind of architecture you do as long as you do it well. One of the best traits of Jan as a professor was that he wanted us to arrive at a solution, the right solution, on our own. And there was never a sense that we just needed to please him. Jan's legacy at the School of Architecture is extensive. From his restoration of the buildings we inhabit and love, to the library that he helped start with Paul Buisson, to the models that are in that library that show students the importance of understanding the whole building its design and its technology, to his many years of exigence in teaching and in participating in faculty affairs. He leaves behind a tremendous commitment to excellence and the profession as a legacy that we all carry on, uh, having taught with him, known him, and admired him for many, many years. Chen really personifies the philosophy and excellence that defined our school and that is carried over now with the new generation of faculty, many of whom, by the way, were his students.